Okay, so I did make a video where I was restoring this uh, PS2 controller. Um, obviously, I've not finished restoring it yet because it's still got this blue tape, this messy blue tape on the lead. Um, but the video didn't really turn out that well, so um, I had to scrap the video. But basically, what I've done to this is uh, this analog stick, uh, when you pushed it forwards and you let go, it would just stay stuck forward. So, like the character on the screen, it'd continue to, to walk or run forwards. Um, so basically what I've done is I've, I've fixed that and I'm going to show you how I've done that on this controller because this controller has got the same problem um, well not exactly the same problem but basically the analog stick has gone weird so it kind of when you let go of it it kind of sticks downwards a bit sometimes so so the character will like move backwards on his own so um, I'm going to show you how I fix this one by fixing this one on camera um, this was basically a controller which was given to me um, and it was in like a really bad state so it had a lot of crud all over it and everything so I basically cleaned it up um, used this toothbrush which is what I use to clean controllers or games consoles because it's good for getting into the nooks and crannies and I uh, I used this, uh, I sprayed some of this window lean onto the brush as well and yeah the the actual thumbstick bit, it was it was really weird because it was like it was as though there was something missing underneath the actual rubber bit. So it felt like it was dented. Um so what I did was I just took this uh I just took this part off and it's it's easy to take it off. You've got to, well you do have to uh take the controller apart first, but once you've taken the the controller apart, you can just pull this bit off and I basically this is the old bit. You probably won't be able to tell but it's just kinda it just feels weird. It's like it's dented there. So basically what I did was I just swapped it over with um with a better one because I do have a few spare ones. Um basically when uh when controllers break and um I'm not able to fix them I'll keep the, the good parts from them so I can use them as spare parts to fix other broken controllers. So yeah, so this stick now it's uh, it's working perfectly, and uh, the controller's cleaned up. Um, the only thing to do really is to uh, to sort out this blue tape, um, you know, because it looks quite messy. So I think there's something that I can do about that. Um, in fact, I'll do it now. Um, I was gonna like fix a stick on this first, but I might as well just do this now. So let's uh, let's take this tape off. Let's see what it reveals. Uh, supposedly the the wire was split, and that's why the tape has been put around it. So And as you can see the wire is actually split. I think it's just from the wire being twisted so much. So this cord is like really, it feels really tacky now and sticky cause, because this, stick, this uh, sticky tape was on it. Yeah, and that looks pretty bad. It's like the, the wires are actually good. It actually looks like someone's intestines have spilled it out. Um, don't really think there's any. I don't really think there's. I'm going to be able to push them back in really without damaging them. So, yeah. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to going to clean this wire up now because it's it's so uh, it's so sticky because of the tape. Okay, so I'm going to use this uh, WD for it. I found that it works really well for getting rid of like sticker res residue and just like sticky stuff and and whatever old labels whatever. Um, so I'm going to spray some of this onto the cloth, and I'm going to clean the wire.
But yeah, it's, this, uh, this WD-40 is really getting rid of the, uh, the uh, sticky residue. So now we'll just go over the wire with, uh, with a dry part of the cloth to just, uh, just dry it off. Okay, so the wire is now clean and it's uh, been dried off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and I'm going to fix it up like it was before, but I'm going to try and do a neater job of it. So I've got some um, some duct tape here. Um, first off, I need to get some scissors, so I'll be back in a second. We'll just uh, stick this around. Just cut that off. Okay, so this is the last one. I'm going to have to use a wider piece of uh, tape to cover it properly since the wires are sticking out. So. It is going to be quite hard to, uh, to make this one look neat. But now what I'll do is I'll um, I'll go over these pieces of tape with this uh, this black permanent marker just so they don't stand out as much, and it'll just make it look more neater. Okay, so I've pretty much finished. Um, it doesn't look perfect, but it does look quite a lot better than how it used to look. So I'll just show you now. So those are the places that are basically patched up. And that's the, the controller finish with. So um I'll show you how I uh how I fix the uh the analogue stick on a PSC controller which is uh gone weird, you know, where you know you'll be moving it around when you're playing a game you let go and it'll be stuck in a certain direction so the character on the screen will continue to move so first thing that I need to do is to uh, to take it apart yeah these these uh, these type of screwdrivers they're good for removing small screws but if the screw is really tight then it's uh, they're not that great for unscrewing them because you can't really get a proper grip on these like you can with you know like you can with the uh, the screwdrivers that have the proper handles on them what I'll do if I am finding it hard to unscrew a screw what I'll do is I'll just like get my sleeve like that put it around it and then I'm able to grip it more better but it's still not as good as a a regular screwdriver with a proper handle on it and just one more screw to go
Okay, so um, let's take this out. I want to be careful to not break anything when removing this because some bits of it do kind of look a bit delicate So now we've, we have the uh, the insides. And let's just straighten this this little LED light because it's a bit bent actually. Must have got bent when I was uh, putting the controller back together because I have fixed this analog stick before. And uh, yeah, so what we need to do now is uh, just take this bit off the actual mechanism and there's the uh, the mechanism itself so what I basically do is I'll just put lubrication into there now uh, what I find works really well and I've got no idea what made me think of this combination um, but it was something that I tried many years ago um, but what I find works really well is to uh, use petroleum jelly and this uh, this 151 super grease now there's probably there, there might be better methods of, uh, of fixing uh, one analog sticks than this but I've not really seen any so uh, I mean this works well for me so first off is what I'll do is I'll dip a matchstick into some petroleum jelly and I'll just uh, I'll just basically push it into the mechanism. Not really doing that great a job of it at the moment, but And just try and push it right inside the uh, the mechanism. Okay, we have got quite a bit of excess uh, petroleum jelly on there, so I'll just wipe it away with this uh, piece of tissue. Okay, so I'm not sure how well this is going to show up on camera. It's a pity that, that this uh, that this camera doesn't have a focus, but so you can see it's got some on my finger. So you can see it's all in there now. And then what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll spray in some super grease. Now spraying in the super grease, it will force the petroleum jelly. It will force it more down into the into the mechanism
and we'll spray some into these bits as well because the, these bits actually turn as well when you move the stick So I think that will do now. And again we'll just uh, wipe off the excess. Okay so we'll now put the, uh, the thumb stick it back onto it. So uh, yeah, let's uh, put it back together. In fact, I'm just going to wipe. I, it doesn't look like there's anything on it, but I am going to just wipe this uh, this circuit uh, just in case there is anything on it. Um, so otherwise it's just probably going to fuck it up when you uh, plug it into the into the PS2. Now there's one thing about putting it back together is that um, it's very tricky getting these two bits behind the uh, the L2 and R2 buttons um, it's very tricky indeed sometimes when you put when you put it back together um, one of one of the buttons or both of the buttons won't work because these these bits have not properly gone behind the buttons um, sometimes when you when you try putting them behind the buttons um, it's like there's two like there's two layers there and sometimes they'll split apart. I can't show you because they're actually glued together, and that's why I glue them together because when they when they split apart, when you're trying to put them behind the button, it makes it even more harder. So uh, what I'll do is I'll just dab a little bit of glue on each corner to uh, to basically stick the two layers together, and that makes it more easy then. And uh, yeah, what I like to do um, before putting the back onto the controller is I'll put one finger under this trigger to hold it outwards and my little finger on this trigger to hold that outwards and so I'll basically be holding it like like that and then because you're holding these triggers open it makes it more easy to to get these bits into the right place Do you know something? I can't believe I've done this. I've actually forgot to put the the R1 and R1 buttons into the controller. Oh well. So we'll have to take this off again. Okay, so the control pad is now back together again. And um, what I like to do after putting it back together is to just move the stick around for a while to just work the, the lube in. And uh, and now this should be this should work pretty much 100% perfectly for maybe six months to over a year. I can't really remember how long it will last because it's been a long time since I've done this but um, when the stick goes weird again like after six months or after a year or whatever um, it means that there's there's been extra wear and tear to the stick uh, when you do these fixes it doesn't it doesn't undo the wear and tear it's still there and it's still um, it still accumulates if you know what I mean so when you fix it for a second time it's probably going to last for half as long as what it did do when you fixed it the first time and then when you fix it for the, for the third time um, 
you probably won't be able to get it 100% perfect, it will probably still be a bit dodger. Um, and usually when it gets to that stage I'll just desolder the component and I'll solder in a, uh, a good one. So uh, what I'll do now is I'll, um, I'll test this out on my PS2 and I'll uh, come back and tell you uh, if it's uh, properly fixed or not. Okay, so I've been using this controller for about two hours now, been playing Vice uh, and the stick works 100% perfectly. So uh, yeah, so basically that's uh, that's two fixed controllers. Um, this one had a dodgy analog stick. That's all that was wrong with it. That's now fixed. This one also had a dodgy analog stick. That's been fixed. Um, the actual thumbstick part that was dodgy had like a dent in it. So I basically replaced that with a new um, rubber uh, thumbstick. Um, I've also cleaned the controller up as well because it was it was full of crud and, and crap and everything. It's not what I'd done to it, but it was that's what it was like when someone gave it to me. Um, it was so filled up with crud and, and stuff that um, when I was actually using it, um, when I was playing a game, when I pressed in the R1 button, when I let go, it just stayed stuck in. That's how dirty the controller was. And um, and yeah, and I've basically. Fixed up the wire to make it uh, at least look better than how it did look. I mean, it's not perfect, but it does look a lot better. So, um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.